In this video, we will show the different ways to display variables in Trace32 PowerView. We are using in this video a Trace32 PowerView for ARM release September 2016. However, the same commands and features are valid for other Trace32 PowerView versions. So let's start. In the following example, we are using the CFD most tablet in the main function. The trace32 menu var provides different commands to display variables. Select show locals to display the local variables of the current function. In this case, the local variables of the main function are displayed. If we change the execution to a different function, then the window will be automatically updated. Select the menu var, then show stack to display the stack backtrace. If the local checkbox is selected, then the local variables of the current function and the calling function are displayed. I will click here on the up button to return to the main function. You can watch for variables by selecting the menu var, then watch, then selecting a variable from the list. If no watch window exists, then a new one is created. Otherwise, the variable will be added to the top of the existing watch window. You can also use the variable pull down menu from the list source window, then select add to watch window or drag and drop the variable to the watch window. It is possible to watch for single variables or arithmetic expressions. Moreover, Trace32 supports typecasting. You can, for example, add the integer cast of the float variable vfloat to the watch window. Variables can be removed from the watch window by doing a right mouse click, then selecting Remove. As you can see, you can add multiple variables to the watch window. In case you want to have a single variable per window, then you can use the so-called Variable View. Do a right mouse click on the variable, then select a View in Window. Same thing can be done from the menu var, then view. A new variable view window will be opened with each new variable. I will resume the execution till the following line so that the EST structure gets filled. The EST structure is the first element of a linked list where the left member points to the next element. You can simply display the whole list by doing a right mouse click on left, then selecting other, view chain. This will open the var.chain window, which takes two arguments, the first element of the list and the pointer to the next element. You can also automatically watch for variables referenced in the current source line by selecting the menu var, then show current vars. In this case, the g variable as well as the func ptr pointer are displayed in the var.ref window. If we single step through the code, then each variable referenced by the current source line will be added to this window. Trace32 PowerView also provides a way to graphically display the content of arrays or structure elements. We can display, for instance, the content of the SineWave array by doing a right mouse click, then select Other View Graphical. The var.draw command supports many display options. For more information about it, type var.draw, then space in the command line and press F1.
In order to display an index position in an array, it is possible to use the var.tape command. The extra arguments i and k are displayed as index of that array. In this example, we can see while stepping through the code, the position of the i and k indexes along with the flags array content. You can find more information about the trace32 variable display under the following links. Thanks for watching.